Hey, what's up everybody? Justin Seely here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. As always, thank you for making me a part of your day. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and turning on notifications so you get a little ding each and every time I post a new tutorial. I talk a lot about Photoshop, Illustrator, and lots of other creative stuff. So we have a lot of fun over here. Why don't you join us uh, every single time I post one of these things? But in any case, today we're gonna be actually responding to a comment I got recently after I posted a tutorial about how to put your logo on anything. And the comment was basically, well, yeah, this works, but it doesn't work for glass. And that was a fair point. I guess the, the tutorial that I did did not address glass directly, although I still stand by the science of the tutorial itself. So I decided to come up with a new way of showing you how to put a logo or a label or something onto glass, specifically a beer bottle, which is what this person asked for. So here's an example of what we're gonna be creating today. You can see the label is on top of the bottle and you can actually see like the beads of condensation and all that stuff on top of the label the label maintains its full color and everything else but it also adopts the shading and the kind of luminosity values of the bottle looks very very natural so let's come over here to our start file and i'll be honest this one's going to be really quick okay so this is just a vector object the label it's just a vector object pasted in from illustrator so if you have a label already or a logo just copy and paste it into photoshop as a smart object move it into place wherever you want that on the bottle and let me show you why blend modes probably aren't the answer. As I go through here, you can kind of make it look okay, but see how it just, it, it always like washes part of it out or, you know, doesn't maintain the color or something like it just, it just doesn't look all the way correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually use the background layer to make this work. So I'm going to duplicate the background layer, command or control J on my keyboard and then I'm gonna move it to the top of the layer stack. Then we are going to clip this layer to the vector object by holding down Option key on Mac, Alt key on PC, and when we see that little arrow like that, we click and it clips. Now you're not gonna see anything because I haven't done anything to the layer yet, but what we're gonna do is desaturate the layer completely by using Shift-Command-U on the Mac, Shift-Control-U on the PC, and you'll notice that the area where the label is turns gray. That's because we have clipped this particular layer to that, meaning it creates a clipping mask around it, and then we desaturated it. Then we're gonna change the blend mode of the overlying layer to hard light. Now you can play around with different blend modes because sometimes different blend modes work better depending on the color and texture of the bottle. But in this case, hard light works well, I think. And when I zoom in, you can see that instantly all of those little beads of condensation came through even down here on the label and it looks pretty darn good and natural and then you toss on some big bold text and not only do you have real good beer you got a real good ad yeah <laughs> In any case, that's going to wrap it up for me. If you enjoyed this tutorial, again, please don't hesitate to smash that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. If you are looking for me outside of this little square here, you can find me over at Twitter at Justin Seeley or on Instagram at Justin S. Seeley. Don't forget that extra S. And uh, be sure to send me examples of the work that you're creating using the techniques I show here on the channel. And don't be afraid to ask questions. You never know. It might turn into a tutorial. That's all I got. See you next time.